Here's my uh, master cam file. Uh, here's the trig calculator all drawn out. From here, what I need to do is I need to save my file. So I gotta make sure I save it. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go file, save as. And now I'm actually gonna save it as a DXF. So I'm gonna save it as a DXF. And that way I'm gonna be able to bring it into a Corel draw. So I hit save. And now this file is saved as a DXF. Okay, then the next step is I open up Corel Draw X4. I like to make my paper the size of the board I'm going to engrave on. It's in a landscape, so I'm going to actually make it 11 and a quarter, like a quarter inch big, eight and a half plus a quarter, so eight and three quarters. This is my paper. I go File, Import, and what I want to import in is my DXF file that I saved. I'm going to put it in the top left hand corner. There's my trig calculator. While the whole thing is highlighted, I'm gonna go over here and select outline color. I'm gonna turn it to black. And then I'm also gonna change the line weight to one point. And then there's my trig calculator in Corel Draw as a graphic. And then from here, I'm gonna go file, print. I wanna print it on the VLS 2.3 laser engraver. As I hit print here, it's not printing it, it's just posting it, exporting it to the driver for the laser engraver. So I hit print. Then the next step is I open up the laser engraver. Here it is. Um, this is relocate view. I snap on the center spot. And I select this right here and I put it in half of X, which is 5.5. .5. And half of y, eight and a half is eight, whoops, eight and a half, four and a quarter. It brings it up to the lower left corner. Um, that looks good. I go over to settings. Then in the settings, it's a natural material. I'm going to engrave it on wood. It's going to be a hardwood. Um, maple is good. I use a caliper and check the overall thickness. The actual eighth inch wood is 130,000, so it's 0 0.130. Apply, okay. I make sure all of my VACs are set up correctly in the shop. Everything's safe before I hit print. After I hit print, that's when it's gonna laser engrave in. And as it's doing that, you wanna make sure you're in the shop watching it. And that's it. Okay. So now I've drawn that whole thing in Mastercam. I've laser engraved it. And look at that. Yeah, that's quick. Yeah, that was quick. Um, so there it is. There's your laser engrave. In addition to doing the trig calculator on the back, I also laser engraved the front of my notebook. So you put whatever you want on front of your notebook. You can make a Daniels engineering notebook, Tomas, Viva France, whatever you want on the front.